Hi everyone, it's Don here from Contour Creations. I'm going to be creating something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to be using the Homely Florals collection and also the You, Girl, you Go Girl collection um, of stamps and dies. Okay, I'm using this also as a scoreboard. Um, it's from Contour Creations, C0726752. You actually can make envelopes and cards here, so it's excellent. Um, you got a centimetre and inches, so which is brilliant also. Um, you got these little things here, markings, which you can use maybe a um, the handy little score there to or you can use maybe something with a round tool and go around it so there's lots of little bits and pieces and it's an excellent tool um i'm also using the quick dry adhesive which is um absolutely brilliant i love this stuff i really do love it um no joke i love it um my pick and <laughs> lots of little bits and pieces um as you can see Okay, now I've used uh, alcohol inks for this project um, and um, many, many things for this project. But the alcohol inks are here. And what I've actually done is I've stamped the alcohol inks with a permanent ink uh, and I've used Memento. Um, and you can also buy that from Control Creations. Uh, and what I've actually done here is that I've used a Go Girl collection of stamps here. Um, these ones here. Delightful Flower. That's actually a die I've used, a leaf. Um, this one's a Flexing Branch, which actually has a stamp and the leaf, the die as well. And these are from the You Go Girl collection. This one here is from the um, Homely Florals collection. Oh, there you go. You can have a look at that. And that's called the Mixed Natives. And that's C0728656. And then I've used these ones from the Go Girl collections. And look, I love this. One of my favourites, okay? This is the feather one. Filigree feathers. Oh, I absolutely love this. Okay, so there's my collections. Okay, let me put everything back in here and we'll start from scratch. And I'm also using the glass mat. Oh my gosh, trying to get some room here. Let's see. Now I've already done the hard yakka, so I've already cut most of this out. Okay, so we'll need that. Um, that's my belly band. Now I've made a belly band to go on my project. How you actually make this one's 11 inches by one and a half inch, I think. Yeah, one and a half inch. The red is is that the um there is what I was trying to explain, which is the alcohol inks. So I've cut, I've done all alcohol inks on some paper, stamped on it, and cut them out to the shapes I want. Now, when you're doing a belly band, grab a ruler. And to shape your belly band, simply use your ruler to bend it, okay? Now, that saves any creases in the belly band and makes it really nice and smooth. So you can see what's happening. It's getting that shape, okay? Like that. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Now, I've already cut my shapes out. Um, I've got... These two, these two measure, let me see, they measure four and three quarters and the be four and a half, I oh know four and one quarter. Okay, so this piece is four and a quarter and this is four and three quarters. Now you need to cut two of each of them. You need to cut two of these. The, and I've used a scalloped one, and that is two or well, three inches, just about three inches. And the one in the middle is two and a half. So that's about two and a half, and that's three inches. So you need two of them. You need four squares, which is one and three eighth, one and three eighth, and you need seven strips of paper. Okay, the seven strips of paper are. Um, seven inches by one and a half inch. 
So seven, oh, actually eight. You need eight of these. What am I saying? Eight of these pieces of paper at seven inches there and one and a half width. Okay, so eight of them. Okay, let me put that to the side. Now I've scored these and I've used this score here. And the measurements for that are one and uh, no three eighths so what i've simply done i'm going to use this little tool but you certainly by all means you can use this one and because it is got a beautiful little point on it okay if i'll just get that off so it's got a beautiful little point on it that gets right into that groove and a lot of them don't do that so i'm quite stoked that they've actually done this so you go along and you go three eighths score turn it three eighths score and you can leave it there then your next score line will be one and a half which is there one and a half then the next score line is two and three quarters two and three quarters your next score line is four and a quarter which is there and your next score score line is five and a half which is there okay so three eighths on each end, one and a half, two and three quarters, four and a quarter, and five and a half. Then you simply fold them. Now you're not going to burnish them, okay? Do not burnish. Just fold and score. Really simple, okay? Let me get that out the way. And there's a reason you don't burnish at the moment. Now I've just because the back's plain of the paper i've used i've simply stamped it and then i've just got a little bit of ink and i'll run over it just to give it that little bit of color okay and i've stamped it with the words of here which is you go girl sentiments and that's co728368 and it's got some great sentiments on it okay and i've just stamped it with that now what you're going to do is that we're going to use our glue and we're going to glue that onto there have to forgive me it's been a little bit dried i like that dried bit on the top because it saves it from drying out um elsewhere okay so i'm going to do a little bit of glue okay just let it run down to the bottom And you just need a little tiny bit, and it's on that three eighth of an inch. And I'm going right in the center there with that big one. So that's quite a big square, not the little one. So I'm going to glue it right on the edge of that square. Okay, just hold it there for just for a few secs. Just for a few secs. See where I've just glued it there? Needs to be on the edge. Just need to hold it for a few seconds because this glue, while it's brilliant, uh, it just slides. And if you just hold, need to hold it for a second. Okay. Then I'm going to take this other end, this 3 8 inch end, and I'm going to do the same again. Okay. Um... So I'm sorry I was off camera then. I apologise wholeheartedly. Uh, we got it on now. Yes. I've got a really weird setup at my desk. And as you can see, the lighting's not great. And, you know, and then it's a really dull day. So the light that's coming in through here is really bad. And it's like, oh, you know. And I can't move the curtains because I've got too much stuff. Oh, so I have to apologise fully to you. Okay, here we go. So we've done that. Our next thing is our little one and three eighth inch. I'm actually going to glue that. Right, with the glue. And I'm going to put it in the middle of where i just put them two things stuck them two edges it doesn't completely cover 
but if you want to go one and a half you're quite welcome to do that so you can see what i've done i've just put that in the middle and what that does it tidies it up a little bit that's all and now we're going to glue that on top yes on top where you if you want to you can glue it underneath but you're going to cover this bit up anyway so it makes no difference okay so a little bit more of this glue and oh, i'm going to have to go under because i put it on top duh And I'll have to do the same here now. And I can cover that up for the minute. Gosh, it's so much easier if you don't do it underneath. I don't want this to last too long, so I'm trying to keep an eye on time. But when you're dealing with glues and things, it is what it is okay there so you've made this kind of a shape okay now i've already done the other three so there's four you need to make four of them so it's eight pieces of paper and you glue two pieces of paper again together and you just fold them down now this is why i said don't burnish it because sometimes i haven't measured right and you've got that there and all I simply do is just push it down with my fingers, okay? Now, because this is uh, a, like a, the paper I'm using um, could crack easily. So that's why I'm doing that with my fingers and not burnishing, okay? But if you've got, um, prop, uh, if you've got uh, other papers like me that doesn't, it doesn't um, crack, then by all means, just burnish. But you know what? For what we need, this is absolutely fine with the fingers. Okay. And this one here that I've just done, I'm going to be doing the same. As you can see why I didn't burnish is because it's not quite centered. And that's okay too. Because you don't really see it. Now, if I wasn't using if I wasn't using this paper, I would actually um with these points here, I would then ink them. But I don't need to do that with this, with this paper, because it's the alcohol ink paper. So that's the one I just did. Okay? And goes like that. Okay. That's, so there they all are. There's four. So we'll just go on to the next step, which is this step. Now, I've made a little template because we need to put a hole in three of them. So I've made a template. I'll just grab my phone. Okay. So what I've done is I've put the two together like this. That's the top. So I've just written a top on there because that's the piece I like to be up the top. And that's the bottom. Now you're not going to actually see that writing in the moment. So... yeah i'm going to do it that way okay i'm going to put that approximately in the center and i'm going to eyeball it of course you don't have to eyeball it if you don't want to but this is how i found that i actually eyeballed it now what i did was make another cut out another circle which is the middle circle here right which is one it measures the two and two and a half circle and i folded it in half give me the whole point okay now what i'm doing i'm going to put that over the top of that circle and that becomes my template of where to put that hole really really simple now all i have to do is find the pick i just had that was in this box that is no longer in this box so what oh here it is it's it's hiding okay and what i do is that i simply put a hole pick the whole thing up and go through okay 
and that shows there but that's not a problem because i'm going to cover that up so as you can see there's the hole so i've now gone through all them layers and i know that they're gonna match up that they're all even okay and this doesn't matter that you've got this little piece here see that because I'm going to cover that up the same as I'm going to cover that bit up and the same as I'm going to cover that bit up okay so let's get together and put it on it's easy to put together so I've got some ribbon I've got two pieces of ribbon now it doesn't matter um, the length because I'm going to cut it off anyway so I'm going to pick the top bit. I think that was the top, yes. So I'm going to pick the bottom first. And I'm going to put this like that. And I'm going to push that through there. So the loop, the loop is on the bottom. Okay, you understand that? So the loop is on the bottom of the bottom circle, like that. Okay. Just tie a knot. Not quite a knot like that. And cut it. And cut it quite fine. Like that. And then I'm going to put some double-sided tape on it. How simple was that? And that's the bottom that is done. Okay. Just like that. That's the bottom. Really simple. Now for the top, like that, I'm actually going to put... So through here, so the loop is now on the top. Oh, goodness. There we go. The loop's on the top. Now I'm just going to get some 3D tape. And this is from Contour Creations. They have the big squares, but I can't find them. So I've only got the foam strips, which is CO723899. And I'm just going to put some, some strips over here. Over here. And over there and I'll put that back there okay now the reason I'll put that there first because it's easier than putting that there first and then putting that in here okay Now, you say, why don't I just leave it there? The reason is it's not strong enough. So that's why I'm putting it through to there. Okay. And I'm just going to do a quick knot. There. Cutting that off quite fine. There. Okay. And then I've got all that room to work with. I would have put the three bigger squares on, except like I said, I just can't find them. And just simply go down, push that down. I know my hands are probably in the way. And I'm trying. Oh, my God. I have just completely mucked that up. That's fine. That's, now that's okay. There you go. So that's that done. And a little bit there. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of tape over it. OK. 
Okay. Right. Put that to the side. Now I'm going to do these. I'm going to get some glue. And I'm going to put the glue on top. I will be putting the glue on top when I open it. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Why is it when you're doing a video? Oh, now I've put too much on it. That's okay. I'll just make it really tacky, really sticky. Wipe it off on my finger, of course. And I'm going to put this on there. Okay. Now, of course, if you want to be a little bit different, you could actually put that so it goes that way. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. Put that there. Do this. Makes it a little bit more tacky. It sticks easier. That's just something I learned from this glue. And it is great glue. It sticks like when it sticks, it sticks. It doesn't come off. And that's what I love about it. And I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm doing it whoop, on this side. So what you've done is that you've actually glued the four pieces together to give you a sort of a concertina style. See? Okay. Now, we'll bring our bottom one back here. The loops on the bottom. This is where we need it. Again, I've got the glue. I'm going to glue here. On, again, always in that middle square. And again, I'm using my finger just to make it really, really tacky so it's quicker to stick. And I'm going to position it, eyeball it, right in the middle. And that's going to cover that. It's going to cover that knot with the ribbon quite nicely. That's it. Again, I'm going to cover this middle piece. Again, using my finger. Just to make it a little bit more tacky to put this glue on. And then I'm going to put the top on. Now, it doesn't really matter where you put the top. Um, the top can go, let me see, um, the pattern does, I think I'll go, oh, take this off, good thing I looked that, all that does is keep that ribbon down and not stick out everywhere, so I'll line that up, then two circles, about there and push it down okay how simple was that okay okay now I've got a trick for you if it keeps sticking in places where you've got excess glue, and this one's not completely dry because it does take a few minutes to dry, then you can certainly use powder. I've got a bit of powder in here. I've got a brush that is 
um, got a bit of a width on it, you know, the fan brush they call it. You get a bit of the powder and where it's sticking, brush it all off, then where it's sticking, just put a little powder on it and it doesn't stick anymore. Well, it doesn't stick where it's not supposed to stick. There you go. And the other thing to do is decorate that. And I've got a little leaf. And I have a butterfly that I've stamped and cut out from the Go Girl collection for both of them. So I'm just going to put a lit, little bit of, hmm, should I use the squares or a little bit of tape? Hmm. No, I'm going to go flat. All right, I'm just coming offline a bit so I can just do some gluing. And I'm going around there. There you go, around there, and the butterfly, I'm going to sit, hmm, I'll sit the, yeah, I think I'll sit it there, well, I can sit it on, no, I don't like it that side, I'm actually going to sit it on there. Again, a little bit of glue, but the glue I'm putting is only in the middle. Because I want the wings to be to be 3D. And that's not dirt, by the way, people. That is definitely the inks that I did for the paper. There. Okay. Now, what it looks like is this. Okay. So when you have it up, when you pull it apart, when it's all dried... It actually swings around. It's like a, a swing card. It's hard to sort of show you when I've only got this small gap of my of my um, phone. So it's quite pretty. Like that. So, and that's, see, it just bounces up. I'm going to put a photo of it's actually up when I'm finished on my blog. So have a look. So what I need to do is put that there. Put that around. To there and I'm going to use just a little bit of tape for the moment to finish this and then I'll glue it directly um, because your time's running around and everyone gets bored there you go so I'll put some tape on uh, some glue on that in a moment okay so that's your belly band okay and I've made another cover for the belly band which is there. So what I'll do is just put a little bit of glue in the middle. There. And that belly band will go that way. And it lines up with, with the one that's under it. There you go. So that's your basically your I guess it's a card kind of thing with alcohol inks let me move this for you with alcohol inks I think it's pretty as um, I've cut die cut stamped and die cut the flower out of um, the same paper the leaf I've done the same paper but I've used only the green the green areas for the leaf um, and I think it looks quite pretty. And you can tuck the ribbon up under the belly, the belly band. So you take the belly band off. 
okay and if i'm going to give this as a present i'd have that the same way so that's so it goes fits that way like that so and it matches up with the one underneath and then i just slide it off there's a cover of that one you pull it up and there's your card or your gifty thingy and it spins and you write on the bottom in case you're wondering where you write it's on the bottom you could also use that as a um you could use that as a um a hanging lanterns for mary so which i would probably do with this one is just hang it because it looks so pretty i will take a photo of it so you can see it um properly and add that to my blog so yeah hope you can understand all that sorry for any confusions um again it's control creations alcohol wings are confirmed control creations i've used the board from create oh the board i've also got the cutter which i absolutely love 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 it's a guillotine and it's one of my favorite things of control creations okay i've also stamped it with the block set which have all come out as you can see but they are all here and they all do fit in here but i've been using them um brilliant again because you've got all the different sizes um okay i'll do a list up for you on my blog i'll catch you soon bye